Hi there once again everyone, this is Jennifer McGuire and I hope you're having a great week. Today I am sharing with you how to create surprise spinner cards. These cards actually have the spinning feature inside of the card, so it's fun and unexpected. I think it's best to first look at the completed cards so you can see them in action and also know where we're headed with the design. All three of my cards are very different and the sizes of the cards are different. I wanted to show you different size cards so you can get a better idea of how to score and fold for each of the different designs. These are actually pretty easy and work with a variety of small die cuts and small stamped images. Okay, let's start with the first example, which happens to be my favorite, and it's the one that you see here. With this one, there's a small butterfly that spins when you open the card. Now I wanted to mention that all of the cardstock that I'm using today is new from Hero Arts. Hero Arts just came out with a new line of cardstock and it is beautiful. There are many colors in here that are new to me, like I didn't have them in my stash already. And these are nice and thick. They're over 100 pounds, so you're going to get really good quality, heavyweight cards from this. Now, there are also included in this, there's this beautiful plum, which I've never had a color like that. I love it. There's a craft card stock, and there is a beautiful brown, and the black is wonderful. I also like the gray, too. Now, you can buy these individually or in a sampler pack. So all of the cardstock I'm using today is from this new Hero Arts line. I will talk more about these cardstocks in future videos and show you more of the colors. Okay, let's start by creating our two pieces that form the card itself, that blue piece and the white piece. We'll start with the blue piece first. I'm using my scoreboard and a bone folder, and I have a piece of that Hero Arts cardstock that is cut to five and a half by eight and a half inches. I'm going to score it right down the center at four and a quarter. So when I fold this, I'll have a basic note card that is four and a quarter by five and a half. I use these a lot in videos. Now we need to create the piece that goes inside of the card. This piece is eight and a half inches wide once again, but it's only five and a quarter inches tall. So it's a quarter of an inch shorter than the piece that we just created. I will once again score down the middle at four and a quarter inches, and I'll fold that in half. And basically what I'll have is a note card that is just a quarter of an inch shorter than the note card that we just created. So you can see the blue is a little bit taller than the white. There's a reason for that, and you'll see in a few minutes. Okay, now from that inside piece, the white piece, I'm going to score it two and a half inches from both ends. Now it's flexible where you score here. But I tried a bunch of different options and I found that this measurement was best. So once I've scored two and a half inches from both ends, I will reinforce those score lines. And what I end up with looks like an M from the outside or from the side view. It looks like a capital M. You can see it there. And this will go inside of our card and pop up when we open it up. Next, we're going to die cut a window right in that pop up area right there in the middle. Now you could use a circle die, an oval die, anything you really want here. I'm going to use this new Hero Arts garden die. I thought this would be really fun for the window on the inside, but again, use whatever you have. Just make sure that this die stays in between those two score lines and that you're sending, centering it up between them. I ran that through my die cut machine and there we have our window formed right in that pop-up feature that will go inside of our card. So our little butterfly will spin inside this window. Now some of the die cut kind of hung down a little too low and was going to get in the way of my butterfly spinning, so I just trimmed it off a little bit. Now it's time to create our little butterfly that will spin, and also all the other little decorations that I want to add around my little window opening. I'm using this new Hero Arts New Day Butterfly Stamp Set. I think this has a beautiful look to it and great sentiments. And I'll also be using the Hero Arts Teacup Flowers Stamp Set. I really like how unique these flowers are, and they're really easy to color. So I stamped a bunch of these different images, and I colored them in very quickly, and used the coordinating dies to cut them out. I created two butterflies that are exactly the same, and they'll make up the spinning feature. 
So I'm flipping over this white piece and on the back I'm going to add a piece of thread right along the middle score line. I do recommend using clear thread here. I couldn't find mine, but I do find the clear thread to be stronger and you can't see it as much. I'll link to what I like to use below. But since I couldn't find mine, I'm just using white thread today. I'm using a piece of tape to tape along that middle score line on the back side and trim off the excess. You could use any kind of tape here, even scotch tape would work. You won't be able to see this, so it really doesn't matter. Then I will stretch the thread across and tape it towards the bottom also, again following that middle score line. Once again, I'll trim off the excess. Since my thread is white and my background's going to be blue through this window, I thought I would go ahead and color my thread with a light blue marker just so that it would be less visible. You really don't have to do this, but I like to make this spinner thread as invisible as I can. Okay, so now I have my two butterflies and we're going to glue them together back to back with the thread in the middle. I recommend using a strong adhesive for this. I'm using Be Creative Tape and liquid adhesive together. You want them to stay back to back with the thread between. Now it really doesn't matter what you glue in the center here back to back. You just want it smaller than your window. And it helps if it's something symmet symmetrical like a heart or a butterfly. If your image is not symmetrical, you can try doing mirror stamping and mirror die cutting. I'll link to a video here to show how to do that. Or you can stamp your image on circle die cuts. Those are symmetrical and would work great for this. So there you can see my floating and spinning butterfly right at the center of our window. Now it's time to add a bunch of other little die cuts around this just to kind of create a scene around our little garden window. I glued some of my stamped die cuts to the front of the window and I actually taped some on behind the window so that they peek out from behind. Really the sky's the limit here as long as your die cuts don't interfere with the spinning butterfly in the center. Now it's time to add our sentiment to the inside of the card. I'm using this new Hero Arts Mix and Match Compliment Stamp Set. I am crazy about this stamp set. I really like the style of those large words. And there are also a bunch of small words that you can team up with these bigger words to create different sentiments. So I'm actually going to use this on the inside and outside of my card. So let's start with the inside. In the inside, I'm going to stamp Have a Lovely Day. All of those words are included in that stamp set. I like to do each of the words separately. That way I can make sure they're positioned perfectly and that the final result will look nice. Now I'm stamping over a score line. So in the little areas where it didn't stamp well in the score line, I just use a black pen to fill it in. Now that we've completed the inside of our card, let's do the outside and then we'll put it all together. For the outside of the card, I took a piece of white cardstock and I die cut that same garden window. I then trimmed a little bit off of each side so that my final piece is four by five and a quarter inches. I will gl then glue this on the front of that blue note card that we made earlier. Remember the overall size of that note card is four and a quarter by five and a half. After I put this on, I stamped a greeting from the same stamp set in the center and added a few additional stamped die cuts to decorate it like I did on the inside. Okay, now it's time to add these two pieces together. So I'm going to put strong adhesive on the two back side of the two flaps on the left and the right of our pop-up feature. Now any strong adhesive would work here. I decided to go with double-sided tape since that was easy and it would hold nicely. So after I remove the release paper from these, I'm going to fold it closed. Once I have it folded closed, I can go ahead and put it right up against one edge of my card. So see I'm closing it, putting it right up at the edge. But remember this piece is a little bit smaller, so some of my blue will show around the edge. Then I'll close the card, and then we have our lovely pop-up feature. All right, so let's look at the completed card. You can see how the butterfly spins in there. All you need to do is wind the butterfly up before you close the card and put it in the envelope. So you'll see me here, I'm just gonna spin it a few times and then I will close my card. Then I would put it in the envelope. 
so that when the recipient gets it and opens it, that butterfly spins like crazy. And there's plenty of room to write a personal message on the side. By the way, on my envelopes today, I decorated them with the new Hero Arts Greetings stamp set. This is limited edition. There are some fun things to stamp on the back of the cards and on the envelopes. I really like the one that says, uh, this one's a keeper, and also the one that says, handmade one of one. Okay, so let's do another card here. This one is just a variation of it and opens up sideways. In this case, I used heart dies and also layered some other die cuts in the inside. Okay, for this one, I'm starting with a piece of cardstock that's four and a quarter by 11 inches, and I scored it right down the middle. This is how I always make a top folding note card. However, this time, we're going to use it as a side folding note card, so it opens the long way. Now I have a piece of that Hero Arts plum cardstock that's so pretty, and it's also 11 inches long, but only four inches tall, so it's a little bit shorter than my last piece. But I again will score it at five and a half inches. When we fold this in half, we'll have a note card that's the same size as the white, but it's just a little bit narrow. It's a quarter of an inch narrow. Okay, so now we're going to do our additional score lines. And I found with this one, it was best to score at three inches in from both ends. Again, you can be flexible with where these score lines are. You just want them to be the same distance from each end. But I found three inches in from both sides was really really ended up working great for the spinner feature. So I'll reinforce those score lines and once again I end up with a piece that looks like an M when you look at it from the side or a W. I guess it depends on how you look at it. So there you can see how those two pieces fit together and you can see some white trim around that plum piece. Now for this one I decided I wanted to use this beautiful new Hero Arts flower garden die. I die cut it also from the plum cardstock and I'm going to put glue on the back of this. I use liquid adhesive. I probably should have used double-sided adhesive on it before I die cut, but I didn't think about it at the time. So I'm using liquid adhesive, and I'm going to glue this right in the middle over that middle score line. So it's between the two outer score lines. I'll then flip it over, put something heavy on it, which is usually my phone, because that's what's sitting nearby, and let that dry for just a few minutes. Once it's dry, I can trim the excess off that's hanging off the edge. And there you can see how I just added a little bit of interest to the pop-up area. Now I'm taking a heart die from the Hero Arts Heart Infinity die set. I'm die cutting it right in the middle of that pop-up area. So the center of the heart lines up with the center score line. So you could skip that additional floral die cut piece there. I just thought it added a little bit of interest. I also thought it would be fun to die cut that same floral die from the Hero Arts gray cardstock, glue that right at the center of our open white card, right against that center score line, and then we're going to press that down to let it dry. Once it's dry, I will close my card and I'll reinforce the fold line once again. So the reason I'm putting this gray floral piece on the inside of my card is so that when the pop-up window opens and pops up, you see that gray floral through it. Again, you could skip that. I just thought it added some fun. Now I die cut two smaller hearts from the plum cardstock, and I stamped on both of them with two messages from this Hero Art Sending Smiles stamp set. This is a small set with a bunch of great sentiments on it that can be used together. I like small sets because the price point's always great. Okay, once again, on the back of my pop-up feature, I'm taping thread, lining it up with that center score line, and then we can trim off the excess. Okay, so now I have my two hearts. Those hearts are the same size, just different white heat embossed sentiments. I'm gluing one behind the thread and one right on top of it so that the thread is sandwiched between the two die cut hearts, right down the center of the hearts. Again, I like to use a little bit of liquid adhesive and double-sided tape here just to make sure nothing moves and it stays nice and tight. So there you can see our fun little heart spin feature. And I love that it's a heart window and a heart spin. Okay, on the back side of those two flaps on the end, 
I'm putting strong double-sided tape, just like I did on the last example. I'll remove the release paper, and now we can put this inside of our white note card. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of close it up here. I can start on one side and put that down close to the edge there, allowing some of the white to show on the bottoms and side. So once I have it lined up, I can go ahead and either close my card or stretch this over so that it is glued to the other side with some white showing. So I'll press that down and here you can see how the heart opens and you've got that fun spinning heart. You just have to wind the heart up before you close the card so that when you open it, it spins like mad. So watch this, when you open it up, you've got that fun spinning heart and you can see that gray die cut in the background there. Now when I have a card like this with a fun interactive feature on the inside, I usually like to keep the outside pretty simple. So here I just die cut a Hero Arts Hello Message die from white cardstock, glued that to the front. I love how nice and large that is. So that when you open it up, you see all the interesting part of it. You see that fun spin feature. And of course, there's plenty of room to write a personal message on the inside also. Okay, so my next card is bigger than the others. This one is five and a half by five and a half inch square. So I would put this one in a six by six envelope. I love making square cards lately. Now for this one, I use the Hero Arts Monarch Butterfly stamp set. I love this layering stamp set. I'm a big fan of butterflies and this one's gorgeous. Now I decided not to go with the traditional colors for this butterfly. Instead, I'm going for pool colors because that's just my favorite. I first stamped the first layer with Hero Arts Soft Pool ink. Since it's such a light ink, which is great, I double stamped it a few times so that I could make it a little bit darker. For the second layer, I used Hero Arts Tide Pool ink. And then for the third layer, I used black ink. And I stamped two butterflies that are exactly the same for our spinner feature. Now that I have those ready, let's go ahead and create the card and the pop-up feature for the inside. This time I'm starting with cardstock that is five and a half inches by 11 inches. And I'm scoring it right down the middle at five and a half inches. This is how I create a five and a half by five and a half inch square note card. So this will be the outside of our card. For the inside of our card, I'm using some Hero Arts colored cardstock. This is 11 inches long once again, but it's only five and a quarter inches tall. But again, I'm scoring at five and a half inches. Okay, so we'll go ahead and reinforce that fold line. Now this time, instead of creating the two additional score lines that are off to the left and to the right, I'm gonna die cut my window first. And I'll explain why in a moment. So I have this circle die that is a little bit wider than our butterfly, so our butterfly will spin in this nicely. And I'm die cutting it right along that center line, trying to center it up as best as I can. I'll run that through my die cut machine, and now we have our window for our pop-up feature. Now I'm going to score those other two lines, and I'm just going to score them a little bit to the left of our window and a little bit to the right of our window. So instead of measuring, you can just eyeball it by scoring a little bit to the left and to the right of whatever window you cut in the center of this piece. It's just another way of doing it. You can definitely follow the measurements I've shared if you want to. Okay, so now I can go ahead and fold back along those score lines and reinforce them. And once again, we'll ha end up with that M piece or our W piece with the window right at the center. I decided I wanted to stamp along that blue paper on the inside. So I'm using this new Hero Arts Flower Garden stamp. I folded my piece in half, my pop-up piece in half, and I'm going to press it down onto that inked stamp, really making sure you transfer all of that ink onto the paper. And there you can see how I have the background stamp on there. Then I will repeat this process to stamp on the other side. This way, when you open the card, all of the blue paper will have this beautiful image stamped on it. So I went for a tone on tone look here. So it adds a little interest, but it isn't too distracting. Now I'll flip that over and on the back, I'm adding our thread, taping at the top and the bottom stretched along our die cut window and the thread is lined up with that middle score line. And then we can trim off the excess. I also have my two butterflies that are exactly the same. I'll put one behind the thread, one on top of the thread, 
creating a sandwich with the thread right down the center of the butterflies. And by the way, although I didn't do any of the examples in this video, you can make spinner cards so that they open vertically if you wanted to. Okay, so once I have my butterflies back to back around that thread, we can go ahead and assemble our card. Once again, I'm putting strong double-sided adhesive along the back side of the two flaps. Once I take off that release paper, I can go ahead and glue this into the inside of our white note card. So when I do this, remember there will be some of the white note card showing around the edges. That's because remember how I trimmed my inside piece to be a little bit shorter than the outside piece? That allows that note card to show around the edges. So when I close this, I have a fun spinner card. So let's wind that up so you can see it in action. So I'm gonna wind it up here. Then I'll close my card and this is how it'll be when the recipient gets it. So when they take it out of the envelope, they'll open it up and you'll see this fun butterfly spin. And by the way, on the front of my card, I just decorate it to match the inside. When I do these cards, I like the outside just to be an accent to the inside. The inside is really the show of this card. Now this is a stamp set that I use for the sending prayer sentiment. I really like the style of the sentiments included in the set. And then I added a butterfly on top of it that matches the butterfly on the inside. Now before we go, I wanted to mention one thing because I know a lot of people have been asking about this. Recently, Hero Arts just released these two stamp sets, the Hero Arts Layering Waves stamp set and the Hero Arts Sea and Sky stamp set. Now, several months ago, they had a large stamp set in a kit that included these images, and the kit sold out super fast and people begged for them. So Hero Arts decided to release these two sets because they were voted the most popular. And I wanted to let you know because so many people emailed me because it had sold out quick. Now, I have a video showing these stamps and I'll link to it up here in the top right so you can check it out. I didn't use these in today's video, but since they just were released again, I wanted to let you know they were available. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in the supplies that I used for these spinner cards, they are all linked in my YouTube description below to multiple sources. In the middle are a couple other videos that you might be interested in. I always appreciate the time that you spend here. I hope you'll come back soon and I'll see you again with another video.